melting and letting things go. Start to slow down your breath. To do that, all you have to do is take a nice big inhale. Fill up your chest and lungs. You can hold your breath for a second there right at the top. And then nice deep exhale. Press all that air out. You can think about making your exhale even just a little bit longer than your inhale. Try to do that. And as you start to slow down your breath, let's do a check-in from the crown of our head all the way down to our toes. And the check-in is just to see where are you holding tension. And that can be mental, and it can be physical, and it can be both. So first at the crown of your head, have your forehead go flat, release your brow. Let your eyes sink back into their sockets. Unclench your jaw. Let your mouth be open if you want to. Tongue resting on the floor of your mouth. Let your shoulders melt into your mat. Open up your heart, open up your chest. Palms can be facing up, fingers can be facing down, whichever you like. Nice big inhale. Nice deep exhale. Let your stomach be loose, hips opening to either side. Legs are nice and loose, the knees are not locked out. Feet gently opening up to either side. And now just take another deep inhale. And exhale. Stay right there where you are for just a few more rounds of breath all on your own. And then in just a moment, we'll start to move together. So all you have to do is breathe. that next, next nice big inhale and exhale. Gently roll your head side to side, chin coming down to each shoulder, nice and gently. If it feels okay, when that head rolls over to the right, hold it on the right side, chin coming down to that right shoulder and keep twisting it, try to get your chin to touch that shoulder so that left side can open up. Remember, pain is bad, so if anything doesn't feel good, just don't do it. Roll that head over to the left, same thing, have that chin come down to that left shoulder. And up the right side. <coughs> Head will come back to the center and I'll gently wiggle out your fingers, wiggle out your toes. You can roll out your wrists, point and flex your toes, roll out your ankles.
And then when you're ready, take those arms above your head, fingertips touch. If you knock into someone's toes or something, it is okay. Bring your toes to touch in front and then stretch right from your center like I'm pulling on your hands and on your feet. Fingers reaching toward the back wall, toes reaching to the front mirrors. When you're ready, let that go and slowly pull that right knee into your chest. Fingers wrap around that knee and just work on having that knee come closer toward you. You can roll out that ankle on the right point and flex your toes. And then slide your hands behind that right knee and take that right leg straight up into the sky. You can make your leg super straight, but a bend in your knee is just fine as well. Pull that right knee into your chest again, and then you're gonna switch out those knees. Left knee pulls in, right leg goes out onto the floor. Fingers wrap around that left knee and gently press toward you. Nice. You can roll out that ankle, point and flex those toes again. Always remember, go for what feels good for you and it will never be wrong. slide behind that left knee as that left leg goes up into the sky. Nice everyone, point and flex your toes, ankle. chest and then bring that right knee in to meet it so both knees are pulled into your chest you can cross at your ankles if that feels okay and they'll make little circles on the middle of your back pulling your knees in toward you and then pressing them away you can roll one side for a little while and then when you're ready you'll reverse it and take it the other way between those knees, hands are going to slide down and grab those two big toes, separate everything for happy baby. And you can hold it right here, if you want to rock side to side, you can do that. You can pull your legs super straight if that feels good. You can do one side at a time. Breathe. of the feet will come back down to the floor. Knees are in the sky. And now drop those knees side to side like windshield wipers. Back and forth, trying to get your knees down as close to the floor as you can on either side. Again, let them stay as close to the floor as they can get. And then take your head and look over to the left. So knees going to the right, head going towards the left with your upper <coughs> and lower body twist.
tell you always want to think about what can I let go of more? Where can I release more tension? If you want to add on a little bit more, slide that right foot out from underneath and stack that right foot on top of that left knee. And so your right foot becomes kind of an anchor that's pressing down on your left. Big inhale. Nice deeper exhale. Slide that right foot back down. If you went through that variation, knees come up into the sky and then all the way over to the left. Take your time. Knees come down to the left. Head looks over to the right. And then just breathe. And then if you want to go for that same variation you did on the other side, left foot slides out from underneath and stacks on top of that right knee. Bring that head back to the center and then slide that foot underneath. If you went for that, slowly bring both knees up into the sky again. Soles of the feet are on your mat. If you want to do a little windshield wiper reset, you can do that. Dropping your knees side to side again. And if you want to turn that windshield wiper into an accordion, let one knee start and the other one will follow it behind. Follow behind it. And then when you're ready, soles of the feet will touch and each knee is going to open to either side like a book or your hip opener. This is where you want to really revisit your breath and make sure that you take nice deep inhales because if this is tight, your exhale is what is going to help to undo that tightness. So just breathe.
to breathe, everybody. Breathe. So keep that right knee exactly where it is, open knee to the right side. You're gonna slowly roll onto your right side, have that left knee come over and join it, and you're gonna end up in a fetal position on the right. Curl yourself up into a little ball. <laughs> Knees can pull into your chest. Hands go underneath your head and make a pillow, or if you have a block or a towel, you can use that. Now keeping your lower body exactly where it is, open that left side back up, slowly roll onto your back, both shoulder blades touch the floor, open that left arm to the side as much as you can, and look over to the left. Do we, do we, do we got it? Do we got it? Is that, was that a good sound? No, I didn't want to. Well, that's, that's a given. Go ahead. You did it right, Lisa. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Never forget that if you don't know what's going on, there's a good chance I don't either. So just let me know, and we'll figure it out together. <laughs> Bring your head back to the center. Both knees will come up into the sky, soles of the feet are on the floor. We're going back to our hip opener, so soles of the feet touch, knees open to either side. Nice big inhales, nice deep exhales. <laughs> Shoulder blades are going to come nice and flat on your back, on the back of your mat. Open up your right side to the right. Right arm stretches out to the right. Look over to the right.
nice and flat. Final time, we're gonna go back to our hip opener. So long as the feet touch, knees are open to either side. And hopefully, maybe, they're a little bit more released than the first time you did it. That's why the, the is released a word? It's, is that, did I use it correctly? Hopefully it's more released. Does that make sense? It does? Okay. Um, what was the rest of my thought? The rest of my thought was your breath. Your breath is important because <laughs> that's what helps with stuff like that. And I had a wonderful uh, Indian woman, I've told this before, that took one of my classes and she gave me the most wonderful thing about your breath and how each part is important. So she says for her practice, she inhales prosperity, everything she hopes to have in the future, and any type of goodness that she wants. So she inhales that. Once she does that, she holds her breath and holds the present moment. And then she does a nice deep exhale and she exhales the past without regret. All three of those are super important. So inhale prosperity in the future. Hold your present moment. Exhale the past without regret. When you're ready, pull both knees into your chest. Take your time making sure your lower back is okay when you do that. You, you'll never go wrong by going super slow, so always remember that. Once you have both knees pulled into your chest, take that left leg out onto the floor. Your right knee is pulled into your chest. And then take that left hand and grab that right knee and pull that right knee across your body. So that right knee is heading down toward the floor. Keep your shoulders, your shoulder blades nice and flat on your mat. If that means your right knee won't go down as far onto the floor as you thought it would, that's okay. Right hand will grab that right knee and pull yourself back nice and flat. Left knee will pull it and join it. If you want to rock on your mid back for a little bit, do a little bit of a reset, you can do that. Pulling your knees in, pressing them away like we did before. And then that right leg will go out onto the floor when you're ready. Right hand grabs that left knee, pulls <coughs> that left knee across your body toward the right. Shoulder blades are nice and flat. knee will pull back into your chest. Right knee can come and meet it for just a second and then soles of the feet are going to go back down on your mat. Knees are in your sky. In the sky, not just yours. <laughs> All of ours. <laughs> so keep your knees up. Fingertips are going to reach down and find your heels. So have your fingertips just touch them barely. That's how you know you're in a good spot to do our modified bridge. So Think about if there's an orange right between your knees and you're going to hold that orange in place when you lift up because you don't want your knees to open to either side. You want them to stay kind of close together. 
So to do this, all we're gonna do is take a nice inhale and press our hips up. Inhale, press up. And this can be as much or as little as you want it to be. Just remember the higher you press up, the more you have to lower down. So exhale, lower down, and try to melt one vertebrae at a time down into your mat and really press your tailbone in at the bottom and that's the period at the end of the sentence. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower down, melt. Take your time. Nice deep inhale, inhale prosperity. Hold the present moment. Exhale, lower down, release the past without regret. Do a couple more of those all on your own at your own pace, and then we'll move on together. But right now, just go for whatever feels good for you. So this is modified bridge. If you know what regular bridge is or whatever you want to call it, you can always go for whatever you need to, by the way. If you want a little bit more, always just go for it. Wherever you're at, do one more bridge. Taking your time. When you've lowered your back down, back to your back, pull those knees into your chest. We're gonna gently rock forward to back. We're gonna roll up and we're gonna do a couple things that are seated for just a little bit and then we'll take it back down. So take your time when you come up, find a nice comfortable seat for you. That can be ankles crossed, legs straight out in front, whatever you like. Once you get up here and you're comfortable, roll out your neck. Reverse it, take that neck the other way. And then let those arms come down by your side so you have room to roll out your shoulders. You can do one at a time, you can do both. We're gonna go forward and back. And then both hands will, yeah, pretty much we're all in the same position, that's great. Both hands will come down and grab your knees. We're gonna do like a version of cat and cow while we're seated right here. So for your cow, take your hands, hold on to your knees, bend your elbows and pull your chest forward. Look up, that's your cow, that's where you inhale, open up that chest. Exhale, lean back into it, chin to your chest, make a big letter C and that's your cat. Nice, inhale, cow. <coughs> Exhale, cat. Any variation that you wanna do on this is a great one. Go for it. Couple more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back up to your nice, flat, neutral spine. Lift your chest up, lift your shoulders up, lift your arms up and reach up nice and tall. Beautiful, inhale, exhale, palms face the mirrors, full, reach the top of your mat. Beautiful. Arms can be straight. You can bend those elbows if you want.
and then just walk your hands over to the right. Maybe they come off your mat, touch that floor next to you. Hands come up nice and tall to the top of your mat. Inhale, exhale, and then walk them over to the left. One side of the human body is always a little bit stronger or more flexible than the other. So if stuff like this doesn't match up on the right and the left, it's fine. It's normal. One more time, walk those hands up to the top. Nice exhale. Nice, everybody. Walk your hands up and then take that right hand. So it's either the palm of your hand or you can bring your full forearm. So it can be off to your side like this or you can bring that full forearm down on the right. Left arm is going to reach up and over. Try to keep your hips as level as they can. If one pulls up a little bit, that's okay. But that's where that hip opener stuff is going to start to benefit you because it'll loosen that up and they'll stay level. <laughs> If that's not gonna happen for you today, it's okay. If it's not gonna happen for you ever, forever, that's okay too. <laughs> it's all okay. That's the point, it's all okay. You can walk your hands to the front of your mat again and take it right over to the left. Left hand, left forearm comes down. Come to your side. You almost hit me. Aww. <laughs> he almost hit me in the face, which would have been awesome. <laughs> For me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and probably well deserved. You. I mean, you all know me. I mean, I'm amazed. I don't. Ha I'm not more like. I don't have black eyes on the daily. <laughs> Now reach both arms up nice and tall, beautiful. Let those arms come down behind your back. Fingers are gonna interlace, pull that chest forward. Those knuckles can come down to your mat if you like. You can keep those palms separated if you want, whatever feels good. And now take the palms of your hands and roll them over and have them go flat on your mat. Lift your shoulders up and look up. Remember, pain is bad. If something's not for you, don't do it. Bring that head back to the center and then slowly bring that chin right down to your chest. Head will come back to the center. You can keep your hands right here where they are. If that's a little too much and you want to let them go, you can do that as well. It's up to you. Wherever you decide to be, take that head and look over to the right and just hold it there. Slowly over to the left. back to the center you can let those fingers go now if you want your head's gonna go over and lean to the right so you can stay just like that if you want a little bit more yep one hand can go on your left elbow shoulder other hand comes up and over by your ear and then you can just gently add a little bit more pressure if you want to nice breathe Bring that head back to the center, lean over to the left first, 
make sure that's okay and then if you want a little bit more add in your hands come back to the center one more thing everybody and then we'll take it back down to our mats left hand reaches over and grabs that right knee take that right hand anywhere behind you that you like and twist look open toward the door look over to the door you came in breathe when you exhale you'll twist more come back around to the front right hand grabs that left knee and start to rotate Look over that back left shoulder toward the closet. Breathe. Come back around in the front. Take those legs straight out in front. That alone will feel pretty good. Yep, exactly. <laughs> that's right, Bob. Everybody, that's Bob. Hi, Bob. Yep. <laughs> Bob's one of my favorite people. Reach up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. If those toes aren't going to happen, go for your knees. Go for your ankles. It's not about the toes. It's about wherever you are. Taking a nice inhale. And then a nice exhale. Walk your hands up those legs. You're going to roll down onto your back for just a second. And then we're rolling onto our stomachs. So that can look any way you want. And it doesn't have to be graceful or pretty or smooth or anything. It doesn't matter. So hands can stack on top of each other if you like that. Arms can go, go down by your side. You can have your chin in the center. You can have one of your face cheeks on your hands and then the other face cheek. That's cool. Hold it there for a little bit, but then make sure you go ahead and look the other way as well. And then if your arms are stacked up at the top, bring those arms directly down by your side and bring your face down toward your mat. chin back to the center, your hands are going to come down and your elbows are going to come down and we're going to be in sphinx pose, so press yourself up to what a sphinx would look like, think Egypt and stuff, press your chest forward and breathe into your lower back. Always notice that I take your eyeballs and look up toward the 
seal up as much as you can, stretch out that neck. But it's also really nice to let your head down and feel really heavy and let your chin come down to your chest. Maybe go back and forth between the two a couple of times as long as it feels good. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to roll out your neck, go for it. Look one direction, then the other. Anything that feels good. And then from Sphinx, we're going to go into Baby Cobra. So slide those hands underneath your shoulders, elbows right by your side and press up as much or as little as you want. You don't always have to come all the way up every time. Find what feels good for you and then breathe. Lower down when you're ready, we'll do one more of those. Inhale whenever you want to come back up. Take it to the level that you want. Nice. Exhale, lower down. Stack your hands on top of each other again. Your chin can come down to those hands. And then staying nice and flat on your mat. The best way I can compare this to for you guys to understand what I mean is like what a frog would look like when they're nice and flat. So take that right knee, drag that foot on the floor, and have that right knee come up toward that right shoulder. Yep, everything's flat on your mat. Perfect. And now let's do reverse windshield wipers. Drop those feet side to side. Roll over those internal organs. Make them work a little bit better for you. Inhale, lift up. 
Breathe. Exhale. Lower down. One more. When you're in, inhale. Lift up. Hold it. Breathe. 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 Exhale. Lower down. Beautiful. Legs come down behind you. And now roll onto your backs. Take your time and get as comfortable as you were at the beginning of class before we started. <coughs> this is your final pose. So the purpose of Shavasana is to give your body a little time to absorb your practice. You just did a lot of really good stuff. So give your body some time to take it in. As always, I talk too much, so this might be the shortest Shavasana ever, but you know what. <laughs> so I'm gonna shut up. Uh, take a few moments, go back to those nice big inhales where you inhale prosperity, hold the present moment, and exhale the past. And then I'll bring us back in just a second and we'll finish class together. those arms up above your head, fingertips touch, toes come to touch in front of you, reach those mirrors, do one more final nice deep stretch right from your center, and then when you're ready, press yourself up to a comfortable seat of your choice. If you want to roll to your side in that fetal position first before you come up, you can do that. A comfortable seat at this point can be on your knees, legs straight out on the front, ankles crossed. <coughs> Always take your time, it doesn't matter. When you get up here to your comfortable seat, if your eyes open, just close them together again and bring your hands to your heart in prayer. We'll do one final inhale and exhale together. Inhale. Exhale. I truly believe we only keep what we have by giving it away and we all have so much. And by that, I mean a kind word, patience, a second chance. If you give any of that away, you will get it back, and you will get it back today. With that, I take my forehead and I bow it to my fingertips. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Namaste. 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 All right, people that I love, get out. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Elton's class is next, so feel free to stay for that. And whatever you do, go out into the world and do good things. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.